Welcome to today's lesson on Romantic Homicide. Now, this song's actually relatively easy to play. There's a little bit of plucking as well as some strumming, but you only actually need to know two chords. Now, let me show you that first. So I'll place the capo on the sixth fret up here. So now everything I'm teaching you will be relative to that. So now I'm gonna play an F major seven. And I'll show you those notes. So we've got our third fret of the fourth string. 2nd fret of the 3rd string, 1st fret of the 2nd string, and then an open 1st string. So you're not wanting to play the 5th or 6th strings there, so you can mute it with your thumb, or just try and play it a little more accurately by just playing the 4th to the 1st strings. So that's F major 7. And then we'll go on to a C major 7. Now before I show you that chord, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to check out any new updates of tutorials as well as some educational videos that I have coming out on things like how to strum, which I'm sure that many of you will enjoy. But let's get back to the chord. So we've got our F major 7, and then we're going to a C major 7. So it's like a C major, but we're taking off our index finger. So you've got third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, and then open on the third, second, and first string. So, five, four, three, two, one. So our regular C major would just be adding our index finger to the first fret of the second string, but because it's a C major seven, you see how that's already starting to sound quite nice. So, just slowly for you, F major seven. and then a C major seven. Now, for the intro, it's gonna start off with a finger picking pattern that's relatively easy to play. So, what's gonna happen is you're gonna put your F major seven chord shape, and you're going to be plucking four, three, one, three. So I'll play that slowly. And then again. So slowly first, try playing it along with me, and then you might want to speed it up a bit. And then a bit faster. So you can see there that I've really played it for four bars on that F major seven. So it will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we'll move on to our C major seven shape. This time we're gonna go five, four, one, four, and then repeat that. So slowly, five, four, one, four. A bit faster and then up to speed so four, four bars on that one as well so that whole thing together I'll play for you slowly so you can play along F major 7 C major 7 And then up to speed. So that's all that you need to know for the intro. It's just playing through those two chords. So four bars on the F major seven, four bars on the C major seven, and that will take us into verse one. Now verse one, is gonna be doing exactly the same thing at the start. So four bars on each, just as you've seen with that plucking pattern. And then we're going to go onto some strumming for the second part of verse one. So the strumming pattern that you need to know is going to be down, 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 up. So on the beat of each bar, we're gonna do our down strums and then our up will be off the beat. So down, 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 up and counting it out, one, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. So down, 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 up. So you might want to practice here on that F major seven, remembering just the fourth to the first string. And then onto your C major seven. So if you want to slow that down a little bit on your C major seven, it will be. So a bit like that. So that's really all that you need to do for the rest of the verse. So it'll be four bars on your F major seven, four bars on your C major seven, and then you go to strumming that same pattern that I've just showed you and playing those for four bars each. So. So that whole verse together will be the finger picking part for the first time, then three times of the strumming, and then we can move on to the chorus. Now, the chorus is going to be very similar. All we're doing is strumming it out the whole way through. So you've already learned that part, so it's really easy. So after we've played that chorus of strumming, we'll go into an interlude where we're going to pick that picking pattern up again. So back as you've played already, and onto our C major 7, so you already know that. It's just like playing the intro through once again. And then finally we'll get into verse 2. Now verse 2 changes a little bit from verse 1. The main difference here is that you're just going to be playing the picking pattern throughout the whole thing. So. You already know it. Four, three, one, three, and then five, four, one, four. So using those same chords the whole time. So like I said at the start, it's that easy. There's only two chords and it's quite an easy picking pattern and strumming pattern, especially for your beginners to work on. So that'll be really good for you. And if you'd like me to teach something else, maybe like here with me, I reckon you should let me know in the comments, but otherwise I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks guys.